Northeast Wisconsin Congressman Steve Kagan returned to Capitol Hill this afternoon, but not until he had received petitions supporting his point of view on reforming the country's health insurance system. The signatures were from all around the district, and they were hand-delivered to the Democratic congressman in Green Bay this morning. Fox 11's Mark Leland has balanced coverage on the effort. Citizen Action volunteers collected more than 21,000 signatures of 8th District residents in support of the president's plan to rework the health care system. Yeah, quite a pile here. And hand delivered them to Congressman Steve Kagan. I think that that percentage at 21,000 is a large enough number that it shows very broad based support for health care reform here in Northeast Wisconsin. The presentation in Kagan's office was a staged event, they say, to focus the attention away from loud critics and back to overhauling the system. Gagan says he's received a lot of feedback on the subject. Some have said they want a single payer. Some have said they don't want any government involvement at all. And so what I'm looking to do is to guarantee that you have access to the care that you need. The latest nationwide Gallup poll suggests the debate is a close one. 39% are asking their representatives to vote against the health care reform plan being discussed. 37% want them to vote for it, while 24% have no opinion. Those delivering petitions to Kagan also vary in reasons they are pushing for reform. My glaucoma is going untreated because I cannot get health insurance because of my history of stroke. A public option has to be included because it's going to force competition. Brown County Republican Chairman Vern Krawcheck opposes socializing health care but admits some changes could be achieved with Democrats and Republicans working together. Both sides will be better off, and there are things that should be taken care of in the system, but not not a not destruction of the system. Congressman Kagan expects the three House bills on health care reform to be melded into one by mid-October. Both sides say when they know for sure what's in and what's out of the plan, they'll be better able to debate the issue. In Green Bay, Mark Leland, Fox 11 News. Citizen Action representatives tell us they have no plans to deliver the signatures to 6th District Republican Congressman Tom Petri. The group says they believe they would not be welcome.